meet the super majority. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Keir Starmer's whopping 411 strong team of MPs. Over 200 of them here for the first time. The start of a new term can always be a bit awkward for some. But little wonder he looks so pleased to see them. <laughs> it's been a day of handshakes and small talk for the new Prime Minister. A visit to Stormont, the second stop on his tour of the nations. Promising leaders here a new approach and a better Brexit deal. A different relationship with the EU, a different way of doing politics, and we go forward in that spirit. Well, First Minister. From Hamdan, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Then to Wales, wrapping his arms around a Labour First Minister who lost a confidence vote just weeks ago. Here in Wales, it's particularly important because what I said before the election is that a Labour government would be a game changer because you'd have a UK government working with the Welsh government delivering for Wales rather than the conflict that I think we've seen too much of um, over the last 14 years. It's not just the Prime Minister not pausing to draw breath. The whole government came to look hyperactive. There's the Chancellor's speech on growth, the Foreign Secretary in Europe, the Defence Secretary in Ukraine, the Health Secretary meeting the Dentist Union and the Home Secretary out on the beat. Thank you. That kind of public reaction doesn't tend to last long into government. Hello, and the reality of ruling is harder than photo opportunities. Prisons are near breaking point. Will criminals be let out early to ease the crisis? I'm extremely concerned with the uh, legacy that the Conservatives have left us with on prisons. All of those things are going to need to be addressed and to, fit, to be fixed. And the Prime Minister has said there isn't going to be a quick fix, but we're going to have to deal with the, the legacy that we inherit. After a straightforward campaign, now Labour wants you to see a flurry of activity. But the difficult decisions are piling up. Labour's got a record 411 MPs, half of whom are here in Westminster for the first time. And they are going to want to demonstrate measurable change, not least to ensure that voters return them again in five years' time. With this many people lining up behind him, Keir Starmer has a blank cheque to reshape British politics. But the public voted for change and will demand results. Will they always be this keen to be seen with him? Sam Coates, Sky News, Westminster.